Hey everybody, I'm Troy Jensen, celebrity makeup artist, and this is my beautiful muse, Nicole Cordova, and today I'm going to share one of my favorite products, Dior's Air Flash Spray Foundation. Dior's Air Flash is my go-to makeup when I'm glamming one of my star clients for a red carpet event. It gives me the coverage I'm looking for, so my client looks flawless from the moment she steps on that red carpet to the after party. Today on Nicole, I'm going to create a flawless complexion using the Air Flash and show you a few easy steps. I apply a lip balm, an eye cream, and a moisturizer before I apply the Air Flash. This preps the skin, gives it a little extra hydration, especially if you're dry. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of lip balm. And if your skin is on the dry side, you might wanna load up a little more on the moisturizer and maybe even add a serum or a facial oil. Applying a little bit of the eye cream and moisturizer and letting it really absorb into the skin for that extra hydration. Now I'm ready for the air flush. So before I begin, you want to be sure to give your air flash a good shake. It contains crushed pigments and mother of pearl, so you want to make sure everything's really mixed up before you apply it. Now there's many different ways to apply the foundation. Some people like to spray it directly onto the face. I prefer to spray it onto a brush or a sponge. This way you're not wasting the product. You don't have to worry about protecting your hair or your clothes. I like to use a kabuki brush or a stippling brush. This product ain't cheap, so I don't like it going all over it. I want to know exactly where it's going to go. I like to test the color on the neck and the jawline. Get behind the ears, the neck. Up into the hairline. I like to use a smaller brush or sponge to get around the eyes and the mouth. Now if you want that full coverage, always use a concealer. How does that look? Good. And the last step, I'm gonna set with a finishing powder. Now, I love this finish, but I'm just gonna set the T-zone, which is the center of the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, the size of the nostril, and the chin. Keeping everything else, that sort of beautiful, velvety, semi-matte finish. That's it, that's all you need. My philosophy is, if the skin looks flawless, everything else looks amazing. Thank you. 